The St. Kitts Nevis government is defending its decision not to bid for the ICC T20 World Cup matches. In a press release from the St. Kitts Nevis Information Service, Minister of Sports Samal Duggins explained that a conscious decision was made not to bid to host group matches during the tournament, which will be held in the Caribbean and the United States in June 2024. The government minister said they are in negotiations to host warm-up matches for the tournament. He was speaking on the radio show Island T on Winifem recently. And each team playing at least two games. So if we have 10 teams, that's 20 games that's likely to be played or they about, given some may play each other. But each team playing two games. And so that, when you talk about economic impact, Mm-hmm. That is equivalent, or uh, you know, of an economic impact. Hotels would be filled, our taxi drivers would have jobs, vendors, restaurants, everybody, because we're going to have the same thing. The cost-benefit decision to participate in the Cricket World Cup tournament also considered that the government is spending millions of dollars to upgrade sporting facilities around the island to facilitate track and field, volleyball, netball, and more. The minister explained why St. Kitts had not bid for the games. When we had to look at the report, because in April, Mm -hmm. they came and they gave a national report on where we are and the minimum venue requirements. Mm -hmm. And we have a 15-page report on that where we are saying it is in in regards to that. Mm -hmm. And in that report, we have some facilities that we have to get to a certain standard. And if you... If you read here, what does it say? Minimum standards venue assessment report, correct? Yes, yes, yes. And if you read what the uh, report says of a number of our venue, I mean, majority of our venue in the report, the summary is the facilities, the actual stadiums will require major renovation. But president of the St. Kitts Cricket Association, Dennis Phillip, in an interview at the association's players' sports bar, the Connery Cricket Facilities, said if upgraded facilities was the issue, the necessary work could have been done in time for the host of the tournament. The decision of the government has sparked a debate locally and regionally, with some, including the SKCA, seeing this as a missed opportunity for the country to generate some economic activity. St. Kitts and Nevis, Grenada and Jamaica are the three Caribbean countries that did not bid for World Cup games. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.